When you're sorting a table in Excel, usually you're sorting a column's values. For example, we have surname here, and to put that in alphabetical order so it's easy to find people, I can select the cell in that column, go to the Data tab on the ribbon, and click A to Z, and there's the list alphabetically. You can use a sort on a row as well. I've got a different table here. I've got the sales for each region per month, and then a grand total per month. Instead of having these month names across the top in month order, I would like to see the month with the highest sales at the left, and then the other months follow in descending order. Of to do that, I've selected a cell in this table, going back to the data tab and click sort. So here we see it's ready to sort by a column, but I want to sort by a row. So I'll click options and in sort options under orientation, click sort left to right and then click OK. So now we can specify which row. And when I click here, I don't see our headings. It just shows the row number. And there's no option anymore to check and say my data has headers. So we're just going to select the row. And in the back, I can see row six has my total. So I'll click that. I want to sort on the values in that row. And I would like them not smallest to largest, but largest to smallest. Click OK. And there's the month with the highest total now at the left, and then the rest follow. So the lowest month is at the right. Now, if I want to put this back in order of months, I can use a different row sort to do that. First, I'm going to select the part of the table that I want to sort because I'm not going to try and move this part of the table. That can stay put. And we'll just rearrange these columns. So going back to the sort command, and we want to leave the option set for row. But this time, instead of row six, we want to sort row one on the values that are in there. But I don't want them in alphabetical order. So I'll click here and get a custom list. And these lists are built in. You can add other lists to this. So I have three letter month names as my headings. So I'll click that. Click OK. So now row one will be sorted on values in month order. Click OK. And now my table's back to its original order with the months in order across the top.